Hi everyone. So I am going to be sharing my swanky pre-order haul. This was the Summer of Love pre-order and it was open on July 2nd and then she said it would ship by August 27th, which I believe it did because I got it on September 2nd. Um, that's when my order arrived and her next pre-order opening is I believe September 6th. So um, I haven't seen a list posted yet, but keep your eye out if you are interested in trying Swanky. All I did was cut open my order and just took out the first layer of, there was some like card, um, not cardboard, but some tissue paper on the top there. Um, so it looks like she has added a couple freebies on top. I see four. I at first was going back and forth if I was gonna order some of her samplers and I ended up ordering one sampler. I was going back and forth. I feel like she may have had a fall sampler and a Christmas sampler and I was like, do I want both? Do I want none? And like at the last minute when I was making my order, I did end up getting the Christmas tradition sampler. Um, a couple souffles, a couple loaves. So we will just get on into it. Um, let's start with my samples on the top. I got four, like I had mentioned, but two of them look to be the same scent. So that's what it looks like. Two hearts in iced blueberry biscotti. Her wax is just so pretty. Like, look at this piece. It's really thin, but it's really gorgeous. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells very, like, bright and candy blueberry. Like it smells like if there was um, a blueberry, I don't know, gummy bear kind of. That's sort of what it reminds me of. So that one smells really nice. Elf candy. I think I've had this one before in a mystery, mystery grab bag. And um, if I remember correctly, I feel like it's got some butter mints in bakery. Yeah, definitely mints. Either pe peppermint or butter mint. So elf candy, it looks like a little chunk of maybe a loaf. And then I have pink powder donuts, which kind of sounds familiar too. I wonder if I got this in like a bakery grab bag. Really pretty. My guess is it would be pink sugar and like a donut bakery scent. So those were my samplers. Wait, is this another sample? it's a scent shot but it's outside of this Christmas sampler this says espresso pumpkin pecan waffle salted caramel pecan pie chestnuts and brown sugar so I'm guessing that this is another sample she added in and it looks like it may have been part of like a coffee sampler which she did probably four samplers so I had mentioned Christmas fall must have been a coffee sampler and I think there was maybe one more sampler too, which this is super generous because like I said, it looks to be about the size in her sampler. Um, if I had to guess, so on the bottom it says 2.5 ounces, which I think that's fluid ounces. So it's probably a little less than that in like wax weight ounces. Ooh, that smells nice. Pretty much just picking up the espresso. I mean, I can tell there are other bakery notes, but I don't like pick up the pumpkin pecan waffle. Actually, maybe a little bit of the salted caramel. It smells a little like caramely coffee. That's what it looks like. This is a big scent shot. I would cut it at least in half. Okay, so wow, very generous with the samples. So it looks like then I got five. So I'm, I think I'm gonna end with the Christmas sampler just because in case you don't wanna watch um oops one of the lids just fell off in there i'll fix that let's first do the souffles so the souffles are seven dollars each and they're about 4.35 ounces i got two souffles so let's see they're wrapped up really nicely in tissue paper oh and this is the paper that i said i took out at the beginning so it was kind of just like some brown paper Okay, so this first one is mountain fresh and pine. And I can smell it outside of the bag. 
So this says mountain fresh downy type blended with fresh unique pine. Super fresh and clean, surprisingly amazing. It's not necessarily something I would initially gravitate towards. It was kind of like, maybe I want to do kind of a fresh laundry type scent come the holidays. So I don't know. I thought this would be maybe a fun one or a nice one to do as you're decorating. Like it's not quite holidays yet because you're just starting to decorate. But sometimes, I don't know, maybe you want a clean scent because your decorations are stored in crawl space like mine, which the crawl space can smell not the greatest. So maybe I'll warm this when I decorate. It's really pretty. It really is, like she says, surprisingly good. That's what it looks like. Wow, that smells really good. I mean, it does smell fresh and clean, and I kind of got the fresh laundry scent first, but I totally can pick up the pine. I like that a lot. I'm glad I picked it up. Okay, so no chunks in this one. Um, Swanky's Wax is super easy to pop out of the souffles and very soft and easy to chop. My other souffle is more up my alley. This is definitely a scent I would pick up. And this is Vanilla Cream vanilla cream Bomb Wild Blueberries. And it says pink sugar cookies, birthday cake, yellow cake, vanilla bean noel, frosted cream cake blended with our wild, wild blueberry blend, which that is blueberry cobbler. <laughs> it's a little later in the evening, so I'm like stirring over my words. Blueberry cobbler, blueberry muffin, blueberry parfait. So that is a lot of scent notes in here. But the gist of it is a blueberry bakery. Yeah, it smells really good. If you've smelled any of Swanky's blueberries, blueberry bakery, they all kind of smell a little similar. So if you like her blueberry, you would probably like any of her blueberry bakery blends. And then I'll just pop it out to see. And this one's got some pretty chunks. Yeah, it smells good. It smells really nice. It smells like... Um, some of the blueberry bakery blends I've gotten in her um, bakery grab bags. Okay, let's do my one bakery bag that I got, which is Pink Blush. The bakery bags are $12.80, approximately 8 ounces. And then this one she wrote the scent notes on. So Pink Blush is Cotton Candy Frosting Marshmallow Noel. Just thought I would pick up a sweet bakery scent, I guess. I love her bakery bags. I love her shapes. Really pretty. I'm definitely smelling kind of some cotton candy. Very, very sweet. Creamy with the Marshmallow Noel. It's really pretty. The Marshmallow Noel is almost making it a little bit body care vanilla leaning. So that's what it looks like in there. I'll take out a couple of shapes. These ones seem like they're perfect to pop into a warmer. I don't think I'm going to need to chop. Some items in her bakery bags you will need to chop, but this one looks like it's all perfect sizes. Here, let me take out a couple. Oh, these are all kind of the same, but hearts, little stars. These ones are small. I'd probably put in a couple. So just perfect little shapes in here. Ooh, the more I smell it, the more I'm getting like the Vanilla Bean Noel. And I love Vanilla Bean Noel and Body Care from Bath and Body Works. All right, we have three loaves. I am trying my hardest to not purchase large quantity of wax like loaves anymore. But I have a weakness for swanky loaves. I love that you don't have to microwave to chop. And I actually do really like her new loaf um, tin because it's really... Well, I'll just take one out and show you. It's very, like, um, skinny, I guess. It's a little wider than a normal loaf, but skinny. So I just feel like it'll be even easier to chop as well. Um, so her loaves are $19.20, and they're between 10 to 12 ounces. Um, so I got Strawberry Royale. Actually, two of these I've had before. Um, and the other one I've had a very similar blend, but I like these so much and I've started chopping and using them. So I just wanted to get one more. Um, this is strawberry Royale. So this is strawberry pound cake, sugar cookies, sugar cookie Royale, buttercream cake, 
birthday cake and more strawberry pound cake. So that's what this one is. And look at how pretty that just delicate little row of flowers is. So gorgeous. And it's just like a decadent strawberry bakery. Let me just see with chunks in it. So pretty. Some of Swanky's bakeries don't smell like particularly strong or like outstanding on cold, but I love them on warm. They're so good. What I will say though is like if she's got like three or four strawberry bakery blends on her scent list, you probably would be fine just picking one out of the four just because they kind of will all smell similar. They'll all smell great, but they'll smell very similar. So I try to like narrow it down. Like if there's a couple strawberry blends, I'll try to narrow it down to just like one now because I think my first order, my first pre-order or two, I got a lot of really similar blends and they were all great, but just they all smelled similar. So you don't need them all basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, so pretty. The next one I got is Fireside Cream Cake. So she blends this scent a lot in blends, um, but I think I've even had it on its own as well. Fireside Marshmallow Rich Cream Cake Cookies. So that's what the scent notes are on this one. Really pretty little, like it almost looks like a wax seal or something, a big wax seal. Oh, it's so pretty. I used to not be into like the fireside smoky kind of notes, but mixed with strong bakery, I think it's really pretty, especially kind of in the fall time when I feel like you'd have more like bonfires. Not that I ever really go to bonfires, but that's what it looks like. And I'll just see if there's any, so this one's plain. This one doesn't look like there's any chunks. Oh, it's just so pretty. You definitely can pick up the fireside note. Um, that's actually probably what I'm picking up the most right now, like a creamy fireside note, but I think those other bakery notes will come alive on warm. And then the last loaf I got, which again, like I said, it's new to me, but I've had a similar blend, like I've had a coffee pumpkin pecan waffle blend before. So this one is, first of all, so cute. Coffee bean pumpkin pecan waffle pumpkin, no, pumpkin pecan waffle pecan pie I go back and forth do I say pecan pecan and I just tried to, I just kind of blended it vanilla bean noel mrs claus cookies so that is the blend on this one and isn't that adorable with the little gingerbread man um so I can't remember exactly mrs claus's cookies is definitely a blend but I can't remember what it is, but I think it's like a decadent bakery blend too. I can smell the coffee bean and I think I get a little bit of that like pumpkin pecan waffle. Oh, it just smells really good. And I'm excited to start warming some coffee once it gets cooler out. It's still very warm here in Minnesota. It's like today it was 90 degrees, tomorrow it's supposed to be like 100 degrees, so Although I'm totally in the fall mood, it still feels like summer. And then this one doesn't have any chunks either. Ooh, I really pick up the coffee on the bottom there. Um, so cute with the glitter. Love her loaves. Okay, so now I'm going to go through my sampler. And this is the last thing that I picked up. As you can see, I see like a lid loose lid right here so i'll have to kind of snap that back on so this was the christmas tradition tradition sampler um it was 44 dollars 80 and it comes with 14 cent scent cups um so yeah i mean she she just says scent cups are 2.5 ounces so maybe that is truly the ounce in like wax weight too oh no Oh, so she's saying approximately three to four melts per cup. So she's saying that you could probably chop this in fourths, which I would believe so too, because they're pretty large. So let's just go through. Got a really pretty little Christmas bow. So let me open up the twisty tie and we will just go through. 
lots of her holiday scents. So I'm going to take this one out first because I see the lids off, which actually maybe I'll pop the lid back on and smell it later because sometimes if the lid was off floating around, I don't know. I just kind of want to shut it and we'll smell it in a second. Okay, this is another one where the lid got a little cracked. So I might have to put this in a poly pro bag because it's not quite staying on. Okay, the first one and I'm just kind of going to grab so no particular order. Um, and if I can find the note really quick, which I do have it up right here. Um, if she has any other like scent notes listed, I will read it off. So this one's sugar roasted pine cones, vanilla bean. And this says, okay, let me make this bigger. Um, okay, lost. Okay, sugar roasted pine cones and a touch of vanilla bean Noel. That is what she says this one smells like. I go back and forth with a pine cone note. So let's see. Okay, I feel like it's a bit earthy. I definitely feel like it's more the pine cone than vanilla bean Noel at the moment. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, looks like there's a little bit of stuff on the bottom there. I don't know if these are going to be... Yeah, these ones right at the moment don't seem super easy to pop out. So I'm just going to do a quick sniff at the top. But yeah, first impressions, a little on the lighter side and a little more on the earthy leaning side than Vanilla Bean Noel. This one's called Bayberry. Look at how cute that is with the Christmas tree. So yeah, that definitely makes me feel like this is from, from a coffee sampler with just the little coffee cup by the Swanky label. So Bayberry. This says a true to life Bayberry, a classic. I don't really know what a Bayberry is. It smells, it definitely smells Christmas. This is the one I think that the lid was cracked, so I don't know if you can tell. So I might put it in a polypro bag. I can, I feel like I've smelled this around the holidays, but I don't really know how to describe it. Like it kind of smells faintly of like a Christmas tree note or like garland, like fresh garland, something like that. I don't know, bayberry makes me feel like it's like a fruit, but I don't think it is. It smells more on the Christmas tree earthy side than like fruity. Um, definitely makes me think of Christmas though. But yeah, this one's not really staying on because the lid's kind of cracked. Okay, she really fills them to the top though. This one is, I'm gonna put that back because I remember that one was the lid, the lid was off. Holiday Sparkle. This says a magical holiday fragrance that glistens with fresh blue spruce tart apple cider, juicy cranberry, and sweet plum top notes. Enchanting and intoxicating. Holiday sparkle. Okay, yeah, I definitely do get like a little bit of earthiness from the blue spruce. Um, a little bit of berries, but definitely a little bit more almost like mulled berries, like potpourri berries not to me not like bright and juicy even though it says like tart apple cider and juicy cranberry but um yeah a little bit of the blue spruce so far honestly um all of them that that i've smelled are a little bit lighter uh oh another one with the lid off okay let me just pop it back on we'll smell that one later because i feel like when the lids are off i feel like it might not be as strong i don't know let's see um frozen lake so this is definitely a bath and body works type oh weird okay this one's cracked at the top i don't know if you can tell the um i may you know pop all of these into just a little poly pro bag just until the holidays i'm definitely gonna warm these maybe like in december um so frozen lake is bath and body works type a new modern day holiday scent a refreshing blend of juniper, eucalyptus, and lavender make for a relaxing aroma that is fresh and clean. And I think I've had the Bath and Body Works one. Ooh, it's really pretty. It definitely does smell fresh and clean. Borderline kind of smells like a laundry scent. Really pretty. I don't smell the eucalyptus as much. It's not like um, tingling my nose. If anything, it's just making it smell a little... A little cool like a cool day but 
but I more smell like the relaxing, fresh, clean kind of aroma. It's really pretty. I like this one. It's been a while since I smelled the Bath and Body Works one though. Like I've definitely seen that name. I had to have had it in the past, but I just can't like pinpoint if that smells like an exact dupe or not. Okay, just putting the lids on some of these because they popped off. Um, this one's Russian tea. I've for sure had this in grab bags before. This is, this just says spiced mulled cider. Yeah, that's all it says. Really pretty. It's like an ombre. Yeah, it, it definitely smells spicy. Like a spicy, warm cider. Okay, that is really pretty. Um, this one is Sleigh Ride, and this says, a festive mix of orange, green apple, peppermint, and clove. This scent will satisfy your Christmas cravings. This scent completes any Christmas collection. Sleigh Ride. Okay, I can pick up the peppermint. I definitely smell a little bit of mintiness. But it's not like nose clearing mint. But I'm picking up a creamy mint. Like I don't necessarily smell the orange, green apple, or clove at the moment. But it almost smells like a creamy like butter mint over a really sharp nose clearing peppermint. Pretty. You know, almost even reminds me a little bit of a candy cane. Like kind of that dusty-ish mint. This one's holiday and is a lid off or does this one just have two lids? Oh no, I feel like, I feel like a lid might be off. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I don't see. Oh, here it is. This one. Okay. At first I was like, I'm not seeing one missing a lid. Okay. So definitely if you got the samplers, I feel like a lot of the lids popped off on mine um holiday so this one is a bath and body works type a delightful mixture of nutmeg clove and cinnamon makes a warming blend of holiday spices a unique and must needed scent to complete your holiday collection this is making me so i'm already in like the fall melting mood even though i said it's like 100 degrees here but now i'm like oh i can't wait for christmas Ooh. Yeah, this one's definitely like baking spices. It's not really um, bakery sweet. Like I'm definitely getting the nutmeg, clove, and cinnamon. And it's kind of like a cinnamon, cinnamon stick maybe? It doesn't necessar ne necessarily smell like a red hot cinnamon, but I, I'm getting cinnamon. Definitely spices pretty this is nice oh my gosh it's just reminding me so much of the christmas time and i can't wait this is the perfect way to collect some christmas melts as well because i feel like in reality i kind of only do christmas scents in december so i don't want huge quantities of christmas wax so i just feel like these little scent chalk cups are perfect this one's balsam and cinnamon this one is warm cinnamon with hints of balsam fir Okay. Yeah, the other one definitely smelled way more strong on the cinnamon, the holiday Bath and Body Works type. Man, I feel like my scent, my nose is not super strong today, or maybe these are just a little bit on the gentler side. And again, it totally could be because half of the lids had popped off. So I feel like I need to re reseal the lids on and then put them in a polypro bag. I feel like that might be it, honestly, because just so many had the lids off floating around in the bag. I, I kind of feel like I'm smelling a little bit of the balsam fur, but it's just kind of gentle right now. So I think I'm going to have to re-sniff a lot of these later on. Um, but I have really high hopes because I love Swanky um, and I love her samplers. I love her grab bags. 
So this one is called Trim the Tree. The most authentic Christmas tree scent we have we have ever offered. Smells exactly like Christmas. Yes, this, this smells like Christmas. And this one, I think the lid was on because this one smells pretty strong. So that's what it looks like. This would be so pretty mixed with like a bakery note. But you know what? I might keep it plain and literally just melt trim the tree like on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Just a nice strong tr Christmas scent. Or maybe even um, when I do take out my Christmas tree or we have company over because we just have a fake Christmas tree. So it might be nice to melt a Christmas tree scent. I like that one a lot. Um, this one is Winter Soiree. It's funny, I kept skipping over this one because this is the first one I saw with the lid popped off. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to smell it later. Let the scent, I don't know, accumulate again with the lid on. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, um, Winter Soiree. So again, this is a Bath & Body Works type. Vanilla Bean Noel, Glittery Notes of Pine Needles, Fur Balsam, Winter Woods, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Not what you would expect a wow scent. I feel like I may have had Christmas, uh, winter soiree in a grab bag too. Oh my gosh, I love it. I really like this. Um, I'm curious to know what her um, scent list is going to be. I just like really popped my lips <laughs> there. I'm curious to see her scent list for the September, what did I say? I think September 6th pre-order. If I see Winter Soiree, I might pick some up because I really like it. I love a Christmas scent with bakery. So this has like the pine needles, fur balsam, so that's kind of the Christmas tree with vanilla bean Noel. I really like it. And I actually get a really decent amount of the vanilla bean Noel. Like surprisingly, the fur balsam and like pine needles are not like too overpowering lately. I've been smelling a lot of Vanilla B. Noel scents that have been like really impressing me from Vendor Wax. This one may be like my favorite from the sampler so far. Um, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Um, this one is Tangerine Peach Lemon Drop Cotton Candy Green Apple. So kind of a fruity blend. That is interesting. It's almost giving me like spring summer vibes and this one seems like you can kind of pop it out easily oh wow i get a lot of the lemon drop on the bottom whoa very like tart lemon drop so this is interesting this doesn't seem like a holiday scent to me besides the name but i might just warm it too like in december honestly that's what i'm planning on doing just like warming one of these like every day in december um, obviously it's only 14 cents, but just, you know, trying to go through the sampler in the month of December. This one is Christmas greetings. This one says a new swanky tradition, mountain pine, a drop of clove, drop of forest floor, bright and merry. So Christmas tree and clove. So Christmas tree and spice. Okay, I mean, I'm definitely picking up like the mountain pine forest floor. And yeah, I mean, there's no sweetness. I don't know if I necessarily pick up the clove, but it's definitely more of like an earthy scent. So that's Christmas greetings. Two more. We have orange clove. This one to me seems like it might be kind of almost like a potpourri kind of a scent. So this says tradition, traditional spiced orange clove, a top seller. I thought maybe potpourri because of the orange, but I'm not really getting like that Christmas note or um, like cinnamon. Like I kind of feel like those mixed with like an orange peel or something smells like potpourri. But it really does smell exactly, exactly like the notes, orange and clove. Like it smells like I'm smelling the orange, but I'm smelling some bakery spices, not bakery notes, but just like baking spice. pretty these are you know it's interesting because these are kind of you know some of them are definitely out of my comfort zone but I'm so excited to have like an assortment of different kind of holiday scents to warm 
Okay, and this last one is Snowman Balls. This one is a serious must-have. We used to offer this every year. It's a favorite of Swanky fans. If you love bold Christmas tree scents with a likable twist, you have to have this. A sexy, spicy blend of peppercorns, nutmeg, and fresh clove. This is a long scent note. Um, embodied with notes of elderberry, blackberry, plum, and fresh green oak moss with magical effervescent top notes of carbonated fizzy pop and a hint of cool mint. Okay, <laughs> long scent, scent notes. Let's smell it. It probably smells like all the scent notes. I don't know. I don't really smell like a carbonated fizzy pop note. But I'm smelling a little bit of a coolness, like reaching my nose. Not nose clearing, but a little bit of a coolness. So I can't, I think I am getting a little bit of that cool mint. I do kind of smell a little bit of earthiness, I guess is what I'll say. It's not really a sweet blend. So it's definitely kind of that earthy, slight chill in the air, like it's a cool day and spices. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. I feel like I didn't even realize this, but there's, I don't think there are any bakery notes in here except the winter soiree, I believe, that had the vanilla bean Noel. But everything else is a little bit more on like the earthy spice side. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited I went out of my comfort zone. And like I said, I'm excited to have something different to kind of melt in the month of December, kind of leading up to the holiday time. Um, so yeah, that was my swanky haul. Let me know if you ordered anything from the pre-order or plan to order anything. Let me know if you got any of the other samplers and what you thought of them. Um, I definitely have a weakness for swanky. I really love swanky's wax, so I may partake in the pre-order coming up. But um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!